Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan Knows Tech here with TechInform.us. I want to apologize for not making a video. I believe it was last Friday. Of course, over the weekend and naturally yesterday and Monday. It's been really nice here weather-wise. I've been outside. I've gotten a lot of stuff done. Uh, and quite frankly, this was not uh, as high priority on my list. But I did want to go over some things regarding the iPhone 4S. Uh, as most of you know, it was available for pre-order last week. I hosted a live show, as I detailed in, I believe, Wednesday's video, possibly Thursday's video, uh, Friday morning at, uh, I started 2 a.m. Eastern Time or 11 p.m. Pacific time and, and we hosted the live stream for when the pre-orders went live and, and that didn't go well. Not on my end. The pre-order situation from Apple.com was an absolute disaster, if I'm honest. Um, at 3 by 3 o'clock, all of their servers were down. It was taking forever to load. The store was down well until 4.30 in the morning. Uh, I did actually stay up right around until 5.05 .05 in the morning uh, Eastern Time, which was 2.05 in the morning uh, Western Pacific Time. Um, and I still couldn't order it. Every time you'd get through a different step in the process and it would just hang and freeze. And by that time, I had to get up in three hours and go to school. So I killed that, got up the next morning at 8 o'clock, a couple minutes early, ordered it, no problem, took two minutes. I did get a 32 gigabyte version. The color I'm leaving undisclosed until, or disclosed, whatever, until uh, this Friday when mine is being delivered. Everybody, or it says um, the first, they sold a million of them day one. That is better than any other iPhone has ever done. Um, so really impressive, great job with that. Um, but they're gonna be here according to the tracking information and apple.com slash order status or whatever that is by the 14th, which is Friday. So I'm excited for that. Today's the 11th on Tuesday. Um, so a Friday delivery should be good. If you ordered it, um, I don't know the exact date. Check your uh, statements from Apple if you did order it. Uh, too far after the uh, pre-order date of last Friday the 7th, uh, you're going to be waiting one to two weeks. They sold out of their entire pre-order stock. They did really good sales. They sold a lot of these. Uh, my dad ordered one on, I think uh, that was Saturday or Sunday, just a couple, Saturday, just the day after pre-orders started, and his is going to be one to two weeks, putting it in late October, whereas the 14th for me is really quite literally mid-October. So uh, the iPhone pre-order situation, um, in, in some ways it was a success. They sold a million of them, and in some ways it was a failure. We had to wait several hours into the morning, and it was slow and bogged down. But what do you expect when you have hundreds of thousands of people all trying to do the same thing at the same time? Wanted to go over a couple different news things here. We've got a couple uh, videos with the iPhone 4S. A couple have been delivered to German customers already. I wonder who effed up there, but the, there's actually an official review here. They went over Siri, some interesting responses uh, when asked, um, I love you and how old are you? Pretty pretty odd. You might want to check that video out. Of course, we're on MacRumors.com here. Got another Siri demo here. iTunes uh, 10.5 has come out today. It's probably not going to show up in my software update uh, window here as uh, I'm running the beta right now. I don't know if it's smart enough to see that. Probably have to log into my dev center and download 10.5. But that's out. You're going to want to update to that just by going up here, software update. If you have the beta of 10.5, beta whatever, you're going to need to go into the developer center and download, I'm, I'm sure it's there, um, the final version of 10.5. There is also a beta 10.5.1, which is the iTunes match dev test um, beta. So you'll probably want to check that out. Um, expect the iOS 5 tomorrow on Wednesday, the 12th. Uh, I'm not going to be putting it on my iPhone 4 because I'm going to have the 4S two days after. So why waste that time? I will, however, put it on the iPad 2 tomorrow if I have time. I'm running beta 7 right now. It's a little buggy, but it's not too bad. Apple's uh, replaced their replacement policy here with Apple Care Plus. New feature, it's 30 more bucks. Kind of a pain if you'd like to go and read that. Uh, some more information with the iPhone 4S here. Uh, Sam's Club is going to be taking reservations, so I guess that's kind of cool. There's the box. It's white. I don't know. It looks like a black one in there, so maybe they had just changed the entire box. The iPhone 4 box is black. This one looks white. You know, big deal. And uh, then we've got some benchmarks here. I just wanted to quickly go through this, guys. If you hate the new stuff, I'm sorry. I thought I'd give my own take on some of this. And last time, I did get some positive feedback. Um, looks like it is 68% faster than the iPhone 4, which is great. It's a dual core of right around underclocked at 800 megahertz, which is uh, not the iPad 2 to gigahertz, but look at the size of the thing. And, and that's always um, able to be changed by software. We've got some nice graphs here showing how the iPad 2, I'm looking at the second graph right now on the bottom. The iPad 2 is all the way up at the top, then the 4S, then we've got the Galaxy S2. And notice that's a 1.2 gigahertz chip. So that's just bad software there controlling that. As, uh, as you can see, the software update did not find that update. Finally, Facebook for iPad. Um, I had three iPads, not mine, one of them was mine, that I tested this update on. My friends, my friend's dads, and mine. 
My friends and my friends' dads run iOS 4.x. I think they're both 3.5, 4.3.5, which is the latest version of iOS 4 and probably the last. Um, installed it on both of those, and both of them would crash while launching. So I figured, okay, bum app. So I come home, put it on my iPad, iOS 5, beta 7, works fine. Used it all last night, used it this morning, works great. Uh, today they released a update for the application already, less than 24 hours later, saying that it fixed some hangs or bugs or crashes on, uh, on the loading of the application for some users. Well, anybody with iOS 4, you're going to definitely want to update uh, to the next uh, version of that. Um, to get it to work. So those are just some uh, updates that I wanted to kind of throw out there uh, with what's going on, the iPhone pre-order and everything. Uh, so leave some comments down below. What did you think? Did you order the iPhone? What color? You know, what size? Let me know. I actually do care. It's kind of interesting to read through that. But uh, thanks for watching. I did want to cover just some of those things and I'm very excited for Siri. I should have an unboxing of the iPhone 4S on Friday. Try to get a review up middle of next week. I do like to use a product for a while before I do a review, but I know the product so well, I'll probably just play with the new features, that being camera, seeing how the A5 uh, does a performance increase, and, and then of course, Surrey. And I'll definitely tell Surrey that I love it, and uh, we'll see what it says back. So check out those videos, they're actually pretty interesting, macrumors.com. Again, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our site, techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And I'll talk to you guys, I hope so, if I have time, tomorrow on Wednesday for the uh, 12th day of the month's video. All right, thanks again. Subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.